everyone welcome to today's video today we are going to be following the Wayne Goss highlighting contouring method I've been wanting to try this for such a long time this is the result that I ended up with at the moment and I'm just going to be diving straight into it I'm labeling step one, step two, step three as we go along. When I watch the Wayne Goss video, it all makes sense to me. He does it so seamlessly. In my mind, I have a feeling, well, I had a feeling that was gonna be a bit too much, but let's just see how we end up with this look. It actually turned out not bad. It, let's just get into the video. Step one, we'll start off with highlighter. I'm using the Shantakai, no sorry, the Clos de Peau Concealer Stick in light beige. So I'm highlighting down the center of the nose, in a corner of the eyes, down. The outer edges of the eyes. little bit underneath the lips middle of the forehead corners of the mouth now step two I have my contour stick. This is the latest one that I've gotten. It's quite light. Or there is a deeper shade that I have here by Charlotte Tilbury, which is the Hollywood contour. Actually, I might use the Charlotte Tilbury one because I'll just show you the shade. This one here is by Mecca Max and it's that shade, which is medium. But the Charlotte Tilbury one is a little bit deeper. So you can see, so I'm going to be using that. And I'm just contouring the face. Under the jawline. The edges of the nose. Actually, I need, need a little bit more product. There we go. doesn't need to be perfect and just on top of the forehead and that's pretty much it so now now I'm going in with some foundation and I'm putting that on the back of my hand just one pump. I've got this little mini buffing brush which I'm going to dip into that foundation and work that in. And now I'm just simply stippling the foundation along and over the products that we have just applied on our face. Highlighter, contour, there's a hair that's just shedded onto my cheek. Get rid of that. Just getting another pump of foundation. Working that in. And just stippling that over the face. Because it's really important not to blend it away into nothing. Just working in that contour, blending that out. And this is also such a good way of minimizing the amount of foundation that you use on your face as well.
working in that highlighter now working in the concealer just getting a little bit more foundation working up the contour the side of the nose blending and just stippling that through going over the highlighter the corners of the eye concealing under the eyes and then the remaining highlighter over the forehead. Okay, so now what we do is with the dry beauty blender, we start patting in the excess product. Just applying a little bit more contour to the cheeks. And blending in the contour of the nose. And now we go in with blush. Just using this cream blush by Denise Myricks. It is the shade low key and it's the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. It's just a really nice lovely peach and I'm picking some of that up with the brush that we just used for highlighting and contour and putting that over the apples of the cheek. Just dabbing off the excess. Now I already do have some lip balm on by Melon and Go It. It's just a simple clear lip moisturizer. I've been really really loving this for moisturizing and keeping the lips hydrated. I'm simply just going to be going in now with RMS in the shade Beloved. It's just a lovely pinky red shade. And I'll apply that to my lips. You know what? I think we need to put some bronzer on. I know we're overkill with the makeup already, but I still feel like I look like a bit of a ghost. So let's warm up the face. I'm using the Shantakai Bronzing Gel Drops. And I'm just putting that on the back of my hand, squeezing that through. This product is very similar to the Debronzy Drops by Drunk Elephant. Picking up a damp beauty, sorry, picking up a dry beauty blender, picking up that bronzer, and I'm just bronzing away to warm up the face because I feel like. unnaturally there we go look how much better that's looking now we needed to warm up the face oh my goodness that's so much better it's amazing what bronzer can do
that's it there we go so guys we kind of saved the look by putting on some bronzer and overall you know feel free to pack on the makeup if you like there are ways to obviously save it you know like i just saved the look by putting on some bronzing drops you could of course uh, wet the beauty blender and blend and blend and blend and blend and try to dab off as much product as you want but this I wouldn't say it's exactly a makeup fail um, if anything you know um, I've just learned that sometimes techniques don't work for everybody now in terms of highlighting and contouring for me I think less is more and um, you know if you think that this is a good method to try out then definitely try it out I just was always keen to try out the Wayne Goss contouring highlighting method and I did try it now these are the products obviously that I used in total today the Shantakai bronzing gel drops the Danessa Myricks um, cream blush low lighter in low key the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand, the Chanel Foundation, and the Clos de Peau Concealer Stick. And the main products that I used to blend that out was the Refa Blending Brush and also a Dry Beauty Blender. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. I just love playing with makeup and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.